Hey guys, this is Willers back with another video and today, well last time I showed you guys how to install mods onto GTA 5 and this time I'm going to be showing you guys how to install menu which is this right here or go away ad. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install menu onto your GTA 5 and get it perfectly working. So, uh, first things first, you need to have script hook 5 and script hook v.net. And if you don't already have this, then I suggest you watch my last video so you see what to do. I'll put it up right here on the screen right now, so click on that if you don't have this already. But if you do, then great job. So you don't need that anymore. And then next thing you need is script hook v.net, which I didn't mention in my last video. So I'll explain it now. So as you can see in the description, it's very easy to follow, very easy to do. You just have to install these. If you don't have this, if you don't have Windows 10, then you have to install this. But I have Windows 10, so I don't need to. And then I don't know about this. I'm not sure because I didn't actually install this. So it might already be on my computer, but I'm not sure. But mine's still working without it. You can install it, your choice. And then you need to download this. So let me just show you what you need to do. So you just press that green download button there. And then it will bring you to this website right here. So obviously you want to be downloading the one at the top as this will be the one that is the most newest version of the script took v.net. So what you want to do is ignore all this, just click on scripthookv.net.zip and it will download. Now while that's downloading, I'll hop on over to menu. And so you need this, you need scripthookv and you need menu, which is the actual trainer, which is what you guys want to actually install. So what you want to do, it's similar also in the description, oh yeah, for all of these downloads as well, I'll be putting a link to all of these in the description below. So just check out the description below for all the links. But uh, in the description of the menu trainer mod, it has all the controls. I will be telling you once I get into game with it later in this video, but if you guys can't be bothered with that then these are the controls here for both controller and keyboard but anyway let's get straight into downloading it it's same with this you just press the green download button it will bring you to this page but as well as the script hook v.net you also want to d install the one at the top you don't want to bother about any of these because these are old versions so always install the one at the top as well as doing it on the other one you do menu sp.zip click on that wait for it to download um actually i've already downloaded these so i don't need to download that it'll just waste time but anyways after you've done that what you want to do is you want to uh open up so you want to go on steam you want to right click on grand theft auto 5 in your library click on properties click on local files browse local files and you'll be directed into the grand theft auto 5 directory i'm pretty sure it's called and if you don't have steam you can still get to this you just have to find the directory it'll just look like this with all of this stuff and without the script took five already on it but anyway once you have done that you want to uh, hold up. You want to get all of those script hook 5.net menu and script hook 5 if you don't already have it. You want to have all of them in a single file like this. So you drag them all into a file like this or drag them all into your desktop, whichever works for you. You want to open them. So I'll start with this one if you guys haven't already done this already. Uh, you want to open them. And it will look like this. Just ignore these two. 
been in my last video that I made which had how to install mods on GTA 5 which again you can watch if you want if you haven't done it yet but you probably should have by now I did all three of these and dragged them into that GTA 5 directory folder which is not that one which is this one but the thing is if you're getting the menu trainer mod then there's no point of getting the native trainer in it as well so just for this all you want to do is select scripthookv.dll then put 8.dll and drag these two into here I've already done that so I don't need it but all you have to do is drag it into this once you have done that go on to scripthookv.net uh, open with this and yes you don't have to um, drag all of these you just have to click on the ASI files and the DLL files and this is all you need these three are the ones that you need to copy into here and I've already done that so that will pop up but for you guys just do that once you have done that last one is menu open with files and all you need to copy is menu.asi menu stuff the ones that I've highlighted now drag them into here the exact same process as the other things and there you have it now you have menu in your GTA 5 so once you have done all that close out of that let's minimize this you can minimize all of this and now I'll show you how it works in gameplay Alright guys, and I'm loaded into GTA 5 with the menu trainer downloaded. So now all you need to do to open this menu is you press F8 on your keyboard. And for you, you need to press F8 twice to open it, but I've already opened it before. So you just need to press F8 twice and it will pop up for you guys. And after that, it will just take one F8 to open up. But yeah, so the uh, controls are pretty simple. Two to go down. Actually, you could even use your arrow keys, but I prefer using numbers. But for you guys, it's easier. Use the arrow keys. Arrow key up to go up. Down to go down. Side is left and right arrow keys. It's very simple stuff. You already know how that works. To select something, you just press enter. Like that. To go back, you press zero. To go down. Alright, let's just... I'll just give you an example of some things you can do with this menu because it's really it's really fun to use I like using it in my spare time so let's just say you want to change your player you can you can uh, you can do some actions let's say you wanna wanna smoke some weed there you go smoking some nice weed let's say you wanna I don't know get fit do some push-ups and yeah you can do it you can do anything with this but there will be there's lots of things online about what you can do with menu but it's pretty self-explanatory you can do many things with this and yeah that's pretty much it oh yeah and if you guys want to move again after doing an action I'll just show you right now F8 you actually have to go back to where is it where is it gosh oh, yeah you just have to just stop animation and then you can continue the day like normal so i hope you guys got value from this video don't forget to subscribe like like this video if it's working for you it really means a lot and it'll help me a lot as well subscribe and yeah hope you enjoyed see ya